Hello students, I am Praveen Khaitan and in today's video we will learn about how to calculate future value first and then we will learn how to calculate present value. So we are taking two examples. In example 1 we will learn about future value calculation and in example 2 we will learn about present value calculation using BA2 plus financial calculator. So let's suppose we have a question here. What is the future value of $1000 invested today at 6% per annum compounded semi-annually that means twice a year for 3 years and 6 months that means 3 and a half year. So how do we calculate it using BA2 plus? So first of all you have to clear the TVM. Remember without clearing the TVM if you calculate you may have wrong answers. So press the second button here and press the clear TVM. I'm sorry. Uh, so second button you will see here second written and then clear TVM. So the TVM is clear now. Now you input the values. So first of all what do we enter? We normally you can enter the payment per year. So that is almost twice a year. So press second key again and press the IY button so it will take the PY value here because you have already pressed the second. Now enter 2. So 2 is like already entered. So enter 2 here by default and then check how many times it is being compounded. So twice. So by default automatically whatever is the PY the same CY will be taken automatically by the financial calculator. Now you have to do nothing. So you simply have to quit this uh, PY thing. So press the second key and press quit. So now your PY and CY is set. You have to enter the remaining values. So remaining values are like number of times it is being compounded n. So three and a half years multiplied by two. So that means seven times it is being compounded. So seven and then n. You can simply press seven and n also. And then you have interest per year so it is almost six percent per year so select six and then enter the interest rate so that is interest per year iy so iy is set now so after setting up the iy what you will do you will enter the present value so present value is thousand dollar so enter thousand okay and then press the PY button and next what you have to do is to enter the payment amount so normally it is not a bond so payment is not given in between this holding period so the payment would be zero and PMT okay if TVM is clear you don't have to input the payment okay however by mistake if it is TVM is there then you may have problem so I put normally zero payment if you are not receiving payment and then you have to do is to compute. So press the compute button and what I want to compute I want to compute the future value. So after pressing CPT or the compute button press the FV future value and it gives you the future value is 1229.87. Now normally you will see a minus sign here don't worry about that because we have entered the present value in positive figure so it is giving you the future value to negative figure so you don't have to worry about that now in next example we will understand about how to calculate the present value using BA2 plus financial calculator now in this example let's suppose the question here is what is the present value of five thousand dollars received after seven years if the interest rate is six percent per year per annum compounded monthly so it is compounded monthly now first of all what you have to do is to clear the TVM so press the second button you will see second written here now press the clear button so TVM is clear now clear the work also now you have to follow following steps to calculate the BA2 plus or to calculate on the BA2 plus present value how do we do that so we have already cleared the TVM now press PY so to enter the payment per year so this is very important so second key 
and then py now enter 12 and after putting 12 value you must have to press the enter button so you will see enter written here process so press enter button so you have entered 12 now check this cy is also 12 that's good now press again the second key and exit okay so press the second key and quit hold on it is not quitting press the second key and press the quit so you have quit now so button is loose i think in this financial calculator <laughs> now so the next is what you have to do it you have to input so how many years seven years how many times 12 times a year so multiplied by 12 so it gives you 84 now this is what number of times compounded so n so i'm pressing n after putting 84 here the next i will put is the interest rate or any value you can put not necessary that interest you have to put first but i'm putting interest first you can put anything else also so interest is six percent not in the same order like i'm putting n is 70 uh, 84 then iy is 6 i can put iy first and then later on n also there's no problem into that so pressing 6 and then this is the interest so iy so iy is 6 percent now what you have to put input the future value so put 5000 here that is the future value you will receive and press the fb button don't put pv because now you have to calculate pv so right now i know that is future value so I enter future value. Now what you have to do is payment amount, which is zero. So zero and payment. So now what you have to do is to compute. What? Compute the present value. So simple click the compute button here. Okay. And then present value PV. So the present value is 3288 again it is coming into minus i told you don't worry about that because we have entered 5000 in positives it's coming negative that is by default setting of the financial calculator so this is how we calculate the present value and the future value in next example we will learn about how about if you are receiving every month a coupon payment normally in case of a bond you receive monthly coupon payment semi-annual or a quarterly coupon payment so what if you are receiving a coupon payment what should be the bond value we will learn into the next video till then keep practicing take care bye bye